There is a planning principle that says rather than trying to predict the future and optimize for what you're sure the future is going to be, you design a facility that works well for a variety of different futures, including ones that you don't know about. And that's how we ended up with this layout. When you walk into our building, it's got a wow factor, but it's also got a community factor. Students wanted a sense of community to have a place where they could see each other and be seen. So the Agora serves as the center of the school. Around the Agora are our career and technical education, special elective environments. So it is a marketplace of ideas, and that goes back to the ancient Greek term. I like it. I feel we can make more traditions now, we can do more things with the space, and we can come together more often. The old school was really disconnected. I like this school because there's four different sections and it's really clear, everything's really organized. It's like a breath of fresh air compared to the old school. You know, I used to get headaches, I used to teach with the lights off if there was enough natural light. Now that's all automated. We set out to exceed the Washington State Energy Code, which is a high standard, by 50% and we actually did it. And we tried to coordinate the daylighting with the placement of the lights. As more daylight comes in, these banks of lights actually dim down. We have light wells at the back and skylights in the upper floor. We did passive ventilation system, optimized so that we were going to have adequate ventilation, plenty of fresh air, good temperature control, and use the least amount of energy possible in heating the air and moving it around. The feeling was to enhance as much of the outside experience into the building as possible. The ventilation, the natural light, the windows just enhance that particular community value. We put a lot of effort into working with the natural environment around us, all of the water off the Agora roof collects to a single gargoyle and then is used to recharge the wetland. Not only is it appealing to the eye, but we can have biology classes go out and take a look at flora and fauna in the area. It is a very unique building. They took a quantum leap in being able to reflect the values of the kids in the community in a brick and mortar structure. In the Edmond School District, we were called a lot of names, but we're a big family here at the school. We are open, we're very diverse, but because of the new school, everyone sees it now. It's where the talk. We were trying to make this an attractive, friendly place for kids and avoid that institutional feel, someplace they'd actually like to be and enjoy being. And when you see the kids in this building, they feel this is their space.